Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys some more things that can help in this game because a lot of people are looking for things and a lot of people don't know how to do things in this game. So if you're completely new, I recommend to watch my first guide. That's going to be linked in the description. And if you want all codes, then check my recent videos because I made a video on the update that has a code. And I made a video about the first code that came out whenever the game released but yeah i'll be showing you guys a lot of useful things in this video like for example how to find some people not the ones in the very beginning though and also just basic things that a lot of people don't know how to do or not really basic things last video is the most basic things this video is including things that some people know how to do but it's kind of confusing so you might need to watch a video to figure it out and that's why i'm making this video so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on because i'll make more videos on this game so you don't miss those and also make sure to join my discord server linked in the description if you have discord check out all the other stuff in the description like the video if you want more videos on this game but yeah let's get into the video okay so we'll start off with the most requested thing which a lot of people have been asking me on discord and the comments on the last guide and on other places so it is how are you supposed to find demons or demon slayers that are weak and then the strong ones and then the average ones so i'll be showing you guys exactly where you find them so first you want to go either to the boat or to the other area the city that has the place where you have to go whenever you are a demon slayer and then if you look around that area, there will be a whole bunch of demons and demon slayers that will be uh, the level 1 through level 4, which is weak. So those are the ones you want to start with, and you just do those and complete the quests from the, the boat guy. I don't know how to say their name, sorry. The boat guy or the girl in the city, but you just complete their quests and then... You can get pretty good by doing that. So I'll just fast forward me walking, I guess, to show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so once you're at this guy right here, then you just look around like in a radius a bit from the boat right there there are a lot of weak demon slayers and by the way i can one shot anything with that i don't know why it doesn't work sometimes but like 90 percent of the time i one shot everyone i one shot that guy on the hill that was pretty far away but yeah so i can do a lot of damage i just don't know why it didn't instantly kill that guy sometimes it only does as da as much damage as a normal hit but yeah you just look around in a small radius from there and you'll find all of the weak demon slayers now if you want to find medium ones you just go or not medium average ones i mean average ones are in the snow area along with the average demons both of them are in the snow area the average demon slayers are on the part of the snow area closer to the boat and then on the other side of that are the average demons if you guys wanted to know where those were but the only one now i have to show you guys are the strong ones which i don't exactly remember so i'm gonna look for them and then just record again and tell you guys where i found them Okay, so I went back to the snow area, and on the side opposite from the demon slayers, and there's the average demon right here. So, yeah, that's how you find the average demon, and also the average demon slayer is on the other side of that, closer to this way. I'm pretty sure it's this way. I hope I'm right. But yeah, you just would continue going this way, and then you'd find the average demon slayers. 
But then after those, now I'll show you guys how to find the strong ones. I don't know why my damage seems so much lower. Whenever I was in the last server, I would one-shot even the strong ones. Maybe it was a glitch or something, because it would usually one-shot them, but sometimes I had to hit them twice, but it would always one-shot average and one-shot the weak ones, and I would, uh, like, three-shot every player. One-shot people that are new, though. But yeah, I don't know why it does that. Anyways, while I was editing that small part of the video, I forgot to move and I was almost instantly killed whenever the hard one respawned. But just want to let you guys know right now, it's way easier to fight in first person because instead of having to maneuver everything with WASD like this whenever you're fighting something, which is harder to get behind them, if you're in first person, you can just turn your mouse and then you can like slip right behind them and attack them which is the best to do because the hitbox is always in front so if you fight in first person especially with harder uh, demons and demon slayers it becomes way easier but you basically go to the hills that i just showed in the video and then you just walk along the hill until you see hard demon slayers or demons and then they will be there I'm pretty sure that the demon slayers are also around that area with the demons, but one is on one side, one's on the other, like earlier. But I don't know why some servers I do way more damage and some servers I do way less damage. But there's this guy auto farming earlier today, and he kept teleporting me because he was mad because I kept trying to kill him. But then I ended up killing him all three times he teleported to me. He was literally hacking, and I was still able to kill him three times. He got mad and left the game because he couldn't even beat me when hacking. If you are auto-farming or something that is against the rules, please don't do that, because not only will it just annoy everyone, they're gonna make a system where it bans everyone that's doing something they're not supposed to in the game. Also, I suggest not to reset whenever you're fighting someone and they're about to kill you because that can apparently get you in trouble is what someone told me and um, it's just kind of annoying because that's just resetting out of spite because you know you're gonna lose and if someone resets, I don't think or I think maybe you could report that, I don't know. Because I didn't read any of the rules for this game, to be honest, but uh, I'm probably going to read them soon. Now I'll show you guys how to find two more people that you need to find after you do the basic quests. So first person, you can just keep resetting it until you spawn right by them right here. I think this is only for demon slayers. But for demons, you have to find the guy in the snow area, which I also suggest to just reset until you get there. Because every time you reset, you have like a third chance to spawn in the snow area. There are like four spawns, but it seems like the snow area is way more common for me. But you just reset until the snow area. Oh, I shouldn't have reset that time because I was right by it, but one of the spawns is in the snow area, so you just keep doing that until you get there. And then the snow area is right here, so I'm not gonna reset again, but I'm gonna show you guys now how to find that guy in the snow area that you need to find, that the guy by the boat tells you to find for more quests. But yeah, you just keep going along the wall of the snow area once you spawn in it, and then there's this guy right here, and he gives you the quest to create a team, and then invite someone to it, which is literally the easiest quest you'll get in the entire game. 
I don't know what to do after I finish his quest though, cause the guy at the bone won't give me quests, or I just said bone't. <laughs> uh, I mean boat, but yeah, the guy on the boat won't give me quests, this guy won't give me quests. I don't know what to do after this. Sorry, I'm kinda a noob still, but I'm not a huge noob. But, yeah, so those are the two people you have to find if you're a demon or a demon slayer. And then there's still one more guy that is kinda important to find that I think as a demon slayer you get a quest that you have to fight him. But, he is around level 50 and he is on a hill somewhere. I don't know which hill exactly, but if I've... If you go to the boat area and then you just wander around randomly, you'll find him. Um, I guess I'll try to find him and then show you guys exactly where he is, just in case if you guys need to find him. But yeah, this video is basically just about finding all of the people, since a lot of them are hidden. They made this map way too big, in my opinion, because it takes forever and is very hard to find anyone. But it's a very well-made map though, like you just look around, the building is pretty high quality, it's all pretty good. And I uh, have just found another quest guy, I, I don't know what he does, and I don't know how I get the Getting Strong quest, but uh, I just know the first two quest people, I'll probably ask one of the staff for help. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but I'll, I'll find out if I can. I'll read the rules after this video. But yeah, you just keep going along the hills, and then you'll eventually find that one guy, and then you can fight him, and he gives a nice amount of everything if you get the kill. He's not that hard to fight, you just do the thing I showed you guys twice, where you zoom in, sneak behind them, and then do the attacking things, and then they die. Okay, so you just keep walking along the edge of the map from the ship, and then you'll eventually end up over here, and then there's this hill. On the hill is the sensei right there, and then there's the guy over here that I was talking about. And this guy is struggling fighting him, so yeah, I just low-key saved him. But yeah, I can one-shot that guy that's like level 40 or something, so yeah, I don't know why I do so much damage, I don't know why it glitched in the beginning, but now I do way more damage, so I don't know what you need this sensei for to be honest. I don't know if that's only for like demon slayers or something, but as a demon, I have way less things I can do, so hopefully... They add more things for demons, and maybe some more demon art, but watch this, like, just... Oh, it didn't even hit him. How did that miss? Okay. But they are one shot, see? Anyways, hope this video helped. Good luck finding everyone. Make sure to check out the description. They will have a guide for beginners there, like, beginning beginners and also all codes so yeah here's the outro thanks for watching one last thing though shout out to all my channel members if you want to see your name on this board all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button and then join the channel and then your name will be on this, this next video along with a special name tag and the chat color, and emojis, and a whole bunch of other nice stuff in live streams and video premieres. So if you can and you do, then thanks. Make sure to subscribe, the notifications on, like the video, and join the Discord server linked in the description if you have Discord. But yeah, shout out to all of them. Again, big thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye YouTube.